on everybody it's crystal so today i am going to show you how to make this uh, cardigan here it is a bit oversized and it's actually very easy and very quick to do because we're going to be using a bulky yarn so let's go ahead and look at it now i would like uh to ask you to uh, please refer to the description box for the chain amount for different sizes and the measurements for different sizes and the amount of yarn you'll need for different sizes um because i'm just going to kind of show you um how to do the stitch and then i'll show you how we edge it and how to put the sleeves on and everything like that but refer to the description box for all things different sizes but it's pretty much other than the chain count uh the beginning chain count most of the rest of it's pretty much universal but um there are a little bit of differences so make sure you look down there so this is what it looks like um it's it's oversized so it's the sleeves are uh pretty much the same size all the way down there is no decreasing i want it to be a baggy sleeve long baggy sleeve um the neckline i decided not to, or the this is open here a bit um i decided to leave off any ribbing or anything i wanted a clean line um around the neck and down the bottom of the sides of course if you want to add ribbing you know by all means have at that um and i also decided to leave pockets off i do explain that in the end that it is possible to put a pocket on i actually did have one made but i did not like the looks of it with this um I didn't like the look of a pocket on on this but to each their own you want to put a pocket on like at the end and you know i'll explain how easy it is to add one or two or whatever you want to do so let me fold this up and i'll go ahead and show you what i use now um i'm making mine to fit me and i normally would wear a size medium to large um but this is oversized so um when you look at the measurements it's going to be bigger but normally my chest measurement is 38 so but like i said all the measurements are down below remember it's got a big it's got a gap it's meant to be uh, a little bit bigger and baggier so the yarn that i used is called Hayfield Bonus Chunky Tweed Extra Value. Now, I did get this at the Wool Warehouse from the UK. I ordered it online. Now, you do not have to use this yarn. Any bulky five will work. Um, this, the color I have is called Hazel. And there are, if you look in the description box also, it'll tell you about approximately the amount of yardage that you need. But this is an all right it's a uh, 96 acrylic four percent viscose because it has a flex in it okay and again I refer uh, look in the description box for how much yarn you'll need for each size okay um, on this yarn now this is a bulky five but i know that not, not all bulky fives are created equal so i did do a gauge swatch for you in case you do gauge your crochet uh 10 single crochets uh, equals four inches across and 10 rows of single crochets equals four inches also so if you want to gauge that out um, to help you with your sizing and then i'm going to be using this is an n which is a 10 millimeter crochet hook also some um, ends are nine millimeter crochet hooks either one of those will work just fine Okay, this cardigan consists of one large back panel, two smaller side panels, and then the sleeves are made uh, separately. So, each uh, chain amount is going to be in the description box. So, but I'll tell you what I did for my size, which is the size of medium slash large. Um, I chained 57 for the back panel and then the side panels i chained 23 for each of those so the stitch if you do want to use it for something else is done in a multiple of two plus one so remember description box will tell you the size for the back panel and then the size of the chain amount that you need for your two side panels depending on what size that you are i'm doing the medium large my back panel i chained 57 and for my two side panels i chained 20 three all right we're going to go ahead and start out and put a double crochet in the fourth chain from our hook and remember we never count the one that's on our hook so one two one two three four
and then we're going to work one double crochet in each of the stitches for the length of the chain. So one double crochet in every stitch until you get to the end of the row. Now this is this is the stitch that is the same for the back panel as it is for both of the two front panels. So one double crochet all the way across. Okay, so once you make it to the end of row one, now we're gonna start row two. So rows two and three are the repeat rows for the length of the panels. So what we're gonna do is chain one and turn our work. We're gonna start off by putting a single crochet right here into the very first stitch. Just like that. Now we are going to chain two. One, two, and then we're gonna put a single crochet. So there's this double crochet here and this double crochet here. So that's two double crochets right here from the previous row. One, two. And we're gonna put a single crochet right in between the second and the third double crochet. So right in between, like that. And then we're going to repeat that. We're gonna chain two, one, two. And then we are going to skip these two double crochets from the previous row. There's one, two, and put a single crochet right here in between this second here and the next one here. So right in between them, not on top, but in between, like that. And then we're gonna repeat that again. We're gonna chain two and we will skip these two doubles, skip, skip. And in this spot in between right here, we single crochet. And this is what we're gonna do until we get to the end of the row. Chain two, skip these two doubles here. Skip, skip, so skip, skip. <laughs> and single crochet right here in between these two doubles. And I'm gonna keep doing this, chain two, skipping these two doubles and single crocheting in between the stitches, not on top of them, until I get to my last stitches of my row. All right, I'm coming to the end and I did a single crochet here and you can see that I have three stitches that remain. That's normal. What we're gonna do is chain two and skip these two stitches, skip, skip, and end by single crocheting into the, your last stitch of the row. Just like that, and that will end row two. Now we're gonna start row three. We're going to chain one and turn our work. Now we're gonna start off by putting one double crochet right here into this very first stitch, which is the single crochet from the previous row. Now we're gonna start our repeat and we're gonna jump right here to this chain two space and we're gonna work two double crochets right in to the space. So there's one and two. And then we're gonna to jump to the next chain two space right here and we're gonna work two double crochets right into the space. So row three is working two double crochets into every chain two space until you get to the end. Jump to my next chain two space right here. Work two double crochets. Next one, and we're just going right through that space there. Two doubles. And we're gonna, I'm gonna do this until I get to the last stitch of my row. All right, I've come to the end here and I put two double crochets here into my last chain two space. And I wanna go ahead and end by putting a double crochet into this last stitch, the single crochet from the previous row. And that'll end row three. Now, we're just going to keep repeating rows two and three until we get the length that we need it to be. So remember, look in the description box for the size that you're making. 
and it'll tell you um, approximately how many inches to do. You can actually do it longer or shorter uh, depending on uh, what you want. You saw me in the picture, I am 5'3", so that's where the length goes on me, but your measurements are down at the bottom also. You just want to make sure that you end on a double crochet row on your back panel and on both of your front panels. All right, so now we are going to sew up our piece. So once you get it the length that you want it to be, um, well, let's go ahead and sew it wrong side out. So whichever side you like better, I'm going to say that the double crochet is facing the wrong way. It's the wrong side. So I'm going to flip it over to where the right side of the double crochets are facing me. And then I'm going to add my front two panels. And I'm going to make it where the wrong side of them are facing me. That way when I flip them right side, when I flip it right side out, um, the boat, the right side of the double crochets will be facing me. So what I'm going to do first is get my yarn needle. I'm going to use these tails that we left here. And I'm going to... Go ahead and sew the shoulders together at the top. So, bring these around here. And all I'm going to do is line it up here and go back and forth and neatly sew the shoulders together. Make sure that you match up your stitches there. Oops, sorry about that. Sorry. Go through like this, back and forth, until you get all the way across. Then when you get across, if you want to go back again, you can, to make sure it's nice and straight, sturdy. So as you see, I'm going in a back and forth motion. I'm not going over and over I'm going back and forth matching up my stitches do this all the way across and this is how we're going to do both pieces of the shoulder area of our panel of each panel Let's track what's going on here. Trying to get it matched up. I get uh there we go. So this continue this until you get all the way across here. Okay, I'm coming to the end here. I'm going through my last stitch. There we go. So we have this one panel sewed on, and like I said, if you'd like to go across it again, go right ahead. I'm actually going to go through again, just to kind of hide my tail. I'm going to go back through the other way. And then we'll check out and see what our seam looks like. So hide the tail nice and good so it doesn't come undone. Oops, I'll hide my tail. I don't want it to come on. All right, that's good. Let me put that off. And let me flip it over and see what the seam looks like. Looks good. Looks good. Perfect. Nice and lined up. Now we're going to do the same thing to the other side like we just did. So this panel here. Now remember, they won't come into the middle there. There's going to be an opening here where your neck goes. So I mean, it's not going to be even there. So go ahead and get one of your tails here. 
and do the same thing here that we just did over here and once that's done i'll meet back up with you and we'll mark off some armholes and sew up the sides all right so now we're going to sew up the sides so i haven't flipped it right side out yet so your neck hole here well this one's going to be right here it should be somewhere in between eight and nine inches uh just anywhere like in you know around eight nine inches is, is sufficient there for a neck hole so let's go ahead and uh mark off the sides here for the sleeves we're going to sew up the sides the same way with the yarn needle so we're going to get it all lined up because we want to make sure our rows are nice and straight but first let's mark off our armholes so uh all sizes are going to be about the same we're going to take your tape measure here just do some little measuring on it um we're going to leave about seven inch armhole so we'll start right about at the top come down to since it's an oversized sweater here about seven inches so right here we count your rows on one side so i got six of these big rows and about right in the middle of it so i'm gonna do the same on the other side so right about here and here kind of in the middle of that doesn't have to be exact um and then you want to go ahead and mark that off so i'm just going to use a piece of yarn and tie that up and you'll do the same thing on the other side about seven inch armhole that's what you want to leave doesn't have to be exact but you know just somewhere around that vicinity about seven inches for all sizes i think that would be fine if you want if you're making it for yourself and you want to try it on and you feel like that opening is not big enough for you by all means you can make it larger if you'd like so we're going to sew it up the same way with our trusty yarn needle so i'm going to grab a piece of yarn here and load up my needle and we're going to sew it up the exact same way we sewed up the top and we're going to go down the side of it so, but we're not going to, remember, we're going to leave this open where our armhole's at. So, the most important thing here is, let me flip it over so I'm, it's so big here. And I don't have a lot of space, but okay. So, I can start from the top here. The most important thing when you're working down the side and you're sewing it up is keeping your rows lined up as you sew. So, let me zoom in a bit so we can get this going on. That's out. Ah, it's in. All right. So here's my marking point for my sleeves. And all I do is, you know, I always take my time when I'm sewing up the sides of a garment. Sewing up the sides, sewing a garment together, as opposed to working it like a regular style um, in a round where there is no seams. Sewing it up, it makes it stronger. That's why you will almost always see all my garments sewn up as opposed to doing it the uh, regular style way uh, with no seams. But anyways, go ahead and kind of start there neatly as possible. We're going to sew it up back and forth the exact same way we did. Leave a tail there so we can sew that in later. Just nice and slow. Keep your rows lined up. I'll put a little knot here, that way my tail doesn't slip away later, and then I'll hide that. Okay, so I'm going to make sure this row and this row get lined up and sewn up correctly. So when you get to the bottom, if you don't have it sewn up and lined up correctly, it'll look wonky at the bottom. One side will be longer than the other. We don't want that. We want it to be even. So I always encourage everybody when you're sewing up the side of a garment like this, just to take it nice and slow, one row at a time, to make sure your rows match. I always consider this to be one of the most important parts, the seam. You want a nice seam. You want it to line up just just right. So make sure you see, see I match my rows up. I just do it one row at a time. So I got my thumb in here holding these two rows together. And right here, you can see my rows start. It's the seam. It's always been the seam for me. It needs to be neat, it needs to be clean, it needs to be even. So I take my time. So 
So I'm going to do this all the way down my garment until I get to the bottom. I'm keeping my rows lined up so when I get down there they're not all wonkified, looking funny. Don't want one longer than the other. I'm going to flip it here in just a second and make sure my seam is looking up to par to my satisfaction. Make sure that what I'm doing is lining up and looking correct and the way that I'm stitching this suits what I want. I've always been a stickler for seams. There we go. Let me get down here and then I'll flip it and see what she looks like. Alright, I'm just going to take a quick, quick peek at my seam and see if it's okay with me. And yes it is, that's a nice, it's a nice seam, see that? <clears throat> nice and clean. Rose lined up, looking good, just how I want it to. I think it'd be perfect, I guess, but yeah, the, the rows are lined up pretty good, I think. I like it. Clean, straight seam. All right, I'm going to flip it back over and I'm going to continue. I'm going to sew it all the way down and then I'm going to tie it off and then I'm going to go to the other side and I'm going to mark off my step, do the exact same amount of rows for the sleeve over here. Count the rows that you did over here and do it over here for this sleeve opening tie it off and then sew down this side now I'll be back up with you once we're all sewn up all right so I have flipped my work right side out now so I flipped it right side out you can see the double crochets are facing right side up got nice clean seams down at the side got my armholes here still um, so what I'm gonna do now is clean up the um, I'm going to go up the sides and then around the neck and then back down this side and then around the bottom all the way back over here to where we started. I'm just going to clean it up with the row of single crochet. So I'm not going to do too, do too much detail around the bottom or around the collar. I'm going to keep it pretty simple. Um, sometimes simple is better. So, um, I'm not going to do any ribbing or anything. I'm going to be doing single crochet to, to clean up my edges and give it a nice, simple, uh, neat um, line around the um, front here and around the collar and around the bottom. So what I'm going to do, make sure you flipped it right side out and the right side of your work is facing you. You could start anywhere that you want. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and start in the back here around my neck okay get everything set up here so i'm not a little unorganized here at this, this is, <laughs> i don't usually record at this house so it's different for me okay so here i am i have the back right side of my work facing me so remember the right side is facing me we will not be turning it wrong side out ever again okay so i'm going to start up here um and here's the back of the neckline i'm just going to start kind of right here in the corner of the seam that way you know it's maybe when we uh, slip stitch our single crochet together it won't be quite so visible if it's right up here near the seam but you know, you can really kind of start anywhere you want. But so I'm gonna go ahead and pull through that loop. It's it's the stitch right after the seam of the shoulder. I'm gonna chain one and I'm gonna go back into that stitch and single crochet. Now I'm gonna hide my tail as I go. Now we're gonna be working down the side here of our piece of the side here. And we're going to be working on the sides of these double crochets. So what, what we have to do is just do our best 
to try to evenly space out our single crochets. So we're all going to have a different number of single crochets and that's okay. Just evenly space them out the best that you can. Now if it starts to feel like it's tuck, puckering up on you like that, that means that you have too many single crochets and you need to pull them out and space them a little bit further apart. If it starts to feel like it's stretching out on you, that means that you don't have enough single crochets. And that means you need to take it apart and put uh, your single crochets a little closer together. So a good rule of thumb that I always use when I'm working down the side of a project and there's double crochets, I always try to do two single crochets in the side of each of each double crochet. And then remember we have that row of single crochet also. So I'm gonna go ahead and start. Right here is the side of a double crochet. So I'm just gonna kinda of weasel my way kind of in the side of the double and do a single crochet. And then I'm gonna do the same double and kind of work my wiggle my way in there and do another single. And then right here is a row where we did the single crochet, chain two, single crochet, chain two. I'm gonna go into that spot and work a single. And then right here is a double. So I'm gonna try to wiggle my way in and put two single crochets into the side of that double. So one there, one there. And right here is the single crochet. So I'm gonna go into that and single crochet. And as you can see, that's kind of keeping them even. So you just do your best to do, do it like that. So again, here is a double crochet right here on the side. So I'm gonna wiggle through the top half of it in single crochet and wiggle through the bottom half of it in single crochet. And then the next stitch is the single crochet row right here. So I'm gonna go right in there and put a single crochet. And I'm gonna do this all the way down until I get to the bottom. And I'll meet you at the bottom and we're gonna do something around the corner there. So something a little different. So I think if we kind of evenly space them out like this, it's going to be okay. They're going to lay pretty straight. Remember, it's not perfect. It's homemade. Doesn't have to... If we wanted it perfect, we'd buy it from the store. And even then, it probably wouldn't be perfect. So we just do the best that we can to evenly space out our single crochets. So I'm going to do this all the way down until I get right down here. The bottom point and that's where i'll meet back up with you all right i have made it down to the corner here at the bottom so you see this stitch right here we're going to be working around the bottom of the piece now this stitch here i'm going to put three single crochets into it into the same stitch so there's one two and three. I'm gonna carry this tail with me and I'm gonna try to hide that as we go. Now I'm gonna work around the bottom putting one single crochet in every stitch. You should be able to see where the single cr crochets need to go pretty well along the bottom. I'm gonna do this all the way around the bottom until we get to the other point which is over here and that's where I'll meet back up with you so just continue putting one single crochet all around the bottom of your cardigan we're just cleaning up edges giving giving a clean line tidying tidying up all right, I'm going to continue until I make it all the way around the bottom. One single crochet in every stitch all the way around. And then I'll meet back up with you at the bottom of the other panel on the other side. All right, I've made it down here. I went all the way around the bottom, and now here is the side of the other panel. So I'm at the corner down here, and we're going to put three 
single crochets into this corner stitch down here to match the other side. So we're going to put three. That just helps it to lay flat a little bit there. So three there. And now we're going to be working up the side the same way we did the other, evenly spacing out your single crochets. So you try to put two single crochets in the sides of the doubles. And then remember that we do have a row of the single crochet here where we did the single crochet, chain two, single crochet. So we're just going to do the same thing, kind of wiggle your way in. And evenly space them out the best that you can. And we're going to do this all the way up to the top. And I will continue this. until I get up near the collar and then I'll meet you back up there at the top here I'm gonna go all the way up this side panel and I'll meet you right up here where the neckline meets all right I made it up to the top and here is the back of the neckline and right over here is where we started so I'm just going to you'll be able to see here's the seam just jump over here to the single crochet first single crochet or first double crochet over here and single crochet in the top of it you'll be able to see the stitches very well here and we're just putting one single crochet in each of those and we're almost back around to where we started Now, if you want, if you look at it and you think that's good enough for you, that is fine. You can tie off and hide your tails and move on to the sleeves. I'm actually going to go around one more time with another row of single crochet. This time it should be a lot easier to see your single crochets since we already did a row. So they'll be easier to see. Okay, right here is where we started before. So I'm just going to take a little piece of yarn and mark this spot. That way we know where we end and where we begin. Instead of slip stitching it, I'm just going to put that stitch, mark, stitch marker there, that piece of yarn. And I'm going to jump right here to the very first single crochet that we made and I'm going to single crochet into it. And now I'm going to work my way down and I'm going to put one single crochet in every stitch until we get down to the corner again. Remember where we put those three single crochets in at the corner? That's where I'm going to meet you up with you because we're going to do something different there again. So I'm just going around one more time with another row of single crochet. This time it is very easy to see where your single crochets need to go because... We did the hard work the last row. Now it's just one single crochet in every stitch. I'll meet back up with you at the corner, at the bottom of this panel, where we put this three single crochets on the previous round. All right, so I'm at the corner down here at the bottom of the panel. This is where we put the three single crochets Right here they are, one, two, three. I'm gonna put two single crochets in each of those three single crochets. So two in each of them. All that's gonna do is help it lay a little more flat. So I'm just putting two in each of the three that went in that one from before. There we go. And now I'm gonna start off again, going around the bottom, putting one single crochet in every stitch and then I'm going to do this all the way around the bottom and then when I get to the other corner where we put three single crochets in of the other panel I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to put two single crochets in each of those three stitches and then I'll continue putting one single crochet all the way up the other panel and all the way around the back of the neck until we reach our starting point or our stitch marker where we began 
All right, I've made it back to my stitch marker. So I went across the back of the neck again, and I'm right here to where I started. So I'm going to go ahead and end by slip stitching into the next stitch. And I'm going to tie that off. Take out that stitch marker. And then I'm going to hide this tail real quick. And then we can get started on the sleeves. All right, so now we're going to work on the sleeves, and the sleeves are going to be done, both sleeves are going to be done the same way, and it's going to be done <clears throat> the same for every size, as opposed, maybe if you want to make it a little longer, sure, you can do that. Um, there is no increasing or decreasing on the sleeves, so it's just um, a, a two-row repeat all the way down until you get to your final two rounds which we will I'll show you how to do that on the camera so the sleeves are very easy they're just big and wide sleeves <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead and start so here we have where we tied up our sleeves before remember that when we were sewing up we can take that out where we marked off our sleeves there we go so this is what we have to do so starting from this corner all the way around we have to get 42 stitches single crochets that's the number we have to have is 42 all the way around so we have to evenly space out our single crochets until we get 42 all the way around um, even if that means that you have to put like two single crochets in the same stitch maybe a couple different spots um, whatever works as long as you do your best to evenly space out and get 42 stitches now if you did leave your sleeves um, wider like I said you could leave, try it on and if you felt like it wasn't uh, big enough that you could leave it wider um, you would need a different number besides 42 your number would need to be in a multiple of three okay but for this the size that I'm doing and almost all the other sizes I said this would probably be pretty much universal sleeve um, you're gonna need 42 single crochets all the way around it's very important that number is so you can start I just usually start right here in the armpit area and I just go in and I do my best to work around I'm gonna go ahead and chain one and I'm gonna go back in that same spot and single crochet now I just do my best to <clears throat> evenly space out my single crochets to get 42 now I had to take it out a few times on, <laughs> on my last sleeve to get 42 and I'm sure that I'll have to do it on this one but sometimes we have to do that stuff so I'm just gonna count that one two and I'm gonna work all the way around there's three four five six so what I try to do is I try to get <laughs> since we need 42 I try to get 21 on this side of the seam and then another 21 on this side now you don't have to do that that's just why that's what I strive for but <laughs> it doesn't always work so I'm going to continue around evenly spacing out my single crochets and I'm going to get 42 it might take me a few times but I'll meet you back here whenever I get my 42 done see you there all right I've made it around and I have did my best to evenly space out and I got 42 single crochets so now we're going to end our uh, round one of the sleeve by slip stitching into the first single crochet like that now we're going to start round two we're going to chain one and we're going to go back into that same stitch and single crochet and then we're going to chain two one two and then we're going to skip two skip skip and then the next one we will single crochet and that's what we're going to repeat all the way around so we're going to chain two again one two skip two skip skip and single into the next so it's the same stitch as the body chain two skip two skip skip and single into the next so i'm going to repeat this pattern all the way around until i get back around to my starting point 
All right, when you make it back around here, here's my starting point. You should have, this is a single crochet here, you should have two stitches left. So go ahead and chain two. And then we will go ahead and end by slip stitching into our first single crochet over here. And follow along with me, you'll have 14 of these chain spaces. Okay, so now that will end row two of the sleeve. And now we're gonna start row three. Now rows three and four are the repeat rows for the sleeve. And that's what we're going to repeat all the way down. Remember, we won't be doing any decreasing on the sleeve. It's just like one solid size of the sleeve is. It's supposed to be kind of a baggy sleeve. So we're going to start off. We slip, Okay, so we slip stitch into our first single crochet. Now we're going to slip stitch over into this chain space. And then we're going to chain three, which counts as a double crochet. And we're going to go back into the same chain space and work another double crochet. And then we're going to work two double crochets into the next chain space. Two doubles into the next chain space. Two doubles into the next chain space. So we're just going to repeat this working around all the way around, working two double crochets in each of the chain spaces and so we make it back around to our starting point so i'm going to continue two doubles in every chain space and i'll see you right back around at the beginning all right i have made it back around to the beginning so i put two double crochets in my last chain space and right here is my chain three from the beginning I'm gonna go ahead and slip stitch into the top of that beginning chain three which is always hard to do with the big hook okay now this is how we're gonna start the next round we're gonna go right here so here's our chain three and Here's a group of two double crochets right here because we count this chain three um, in this chain space. Now we're going to back up one and you see the group of two right here. We're going to go, we're not going to chain one or anything. We're just going to go right through the space right behind the, the, the space right here behind this chain three. So in between the chain three and the last double crochet that we just made, go right through it and single crochet just like that and then we are going to chain two and single crochet right here we skip these two doubles and single crochet in between this group right here so it's like you know just like the main part of the of the sweater again we chain two and we skip these two doubles or this group of two and we single crochet right here in between these two sets chain two again single crochet right here in between these two sets of two double crochet and we're going to repeat this all the way around and I'll meet back up with you at the beginning all right, I have made it back to the beginning. So right here is the first single crochet we did. So I just chained two, I single crocheted in this chain space here, or in this space between these two sets of two double crochet. I single crocheted there, I chained two. I'm gonna skip these two stitches and right here is where we started our first single crochet. Go ahead and end by slip stitching into that first single crochet, like that, and that will end round four now we're just going to repeat rows three and four so for row five we're just going to do what we did for row three which is slip stitch into the next chain space chain three go back in and work a double crochet and then we work two double crochets into every chain space all the way around 
So I'm just going to keep a repeating on this one, rows three and four. until I get my sleeve as long as I want it to be. Uh, I'll let you, oops, I'll let you know how many rows I do here in a second. But as always, if you are making it for yourself, you can try it on and see. I will be adding, we will be adding two finishing rows of single crochet at the end. But for now, repeat rows two and three until you get your sleeve the length that you want it to be. All right, I come to the end. Well, to how long I want to make my sleeve. Remember, you can make yours as long as you want. But I'll tell you how much, how many rows I did. So you see these rows of where we put the two double crochets in each of the chain spaces. I did thirteen of those. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Now remember, that's not 13 rows total. That's just 13 rows of the uh, two double crochets in the chain spaces. So it's just easier to count that way than trying to count the single crochet rows in between. So you try it on, you like it, or you, you know, you see how it looks on, on me. Um, measurements are down in the description box, but if you wanna make it longer or whatnot or whatever. But what I'm gonna do now to finish it, is I'm gonna do two rounds of single crochet. So I just ended, uh, my last row was the uh, double crochet row, and I went ahead and I slip stitched into the top of that chain three. So what I'm gonna do now is chain one, I'm gonna go back into that same spot, and single crochet, and I'm gonna work around and I'm gonna put one single crochet in every stitch all the way around until I get back to my starting point. This is just kind of going to finish it, finish it off, clean it up, and I'm doing two rounds to match the two rounds that I did around um, the main portion of the sweater, you know, so kind of looks similar, I guess. So I'll continue around one single crochet in every stitch, and I'll meet back up with you at, uh, at our starting point. Okay, I made it around after my first row of single crochet, and what I'm going to do is put a little stitch mark here, piece of yarn, <laughs> and I'm going to just jump over here to my first single crochet and single crochet into it. And I'm going to work around putting one more row of one single crochet in every stitch. And then when I make it back around to the end, or back to my stitch marker. I'll go ahead and end by slip stitching into the stitch after the stitch marker. Tie off and hide my tail. And then you wanna do both sleeves exactly the same way. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this round off. And then when I make it here, I'll slip stitch here, tie it off, hide my tail, do my other sleeve, and then we'll see what we got. We gotta do after that. All right. She's done. I hope you guys enjoy my tutorial. Hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that like button. Um, also, if you do want to put pockets on it, by all means, you can just make some uh, little double crochet uh, lines, like a, a double crochet square or a rectangle, and just sew it on with your yarn needle, leave the top open if you want. I was going to do that, and I actually did make a square, uh, but I didn't like the way it looked. I thought that it took away from the look of the... Um, cardigan the pocket but that's entirely up to you you do it however you want everybody's got different taste so pockets would be easily um easy to sew on here if you want but that's it that's it's it i hope you enjoyed it subscribe like thumbs up uh show me a pic on instagram hashtag me at bag of day crochet i'd like to see it check out my other hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of tutorials tutorials all right have a good day everybody stay safe bye guys